Hey y'all, Mike here from All American Reviews, and today I'm talking about how to find jeans made in the USA. Jeans are obviously an American staple. They came to America in the 1850s when the famous Levi Strauss opened up his first shop in San Francisco. The official birthday of jeans is actually in 1873 when Levi and his business partner Jacob Davis received their first patent for jeans. Since then, the industry has obviously exploded. There are over 450 million pairs of jeans that are sold in the US every single year, but sadly, an increasing number of those are manufactured overseas. So, in today's video, I'm going to talk about how to spot jeans that are made in the USA, my top picks for American-made jeans, and make sure to stick around to the end of the video where we'll be answering some frequently asked questions. I've also written about this exact same topic before, so check in the description below for a link to that article. And if you're passionate about buying American-made products, hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and make sure to head over to allamericanreviews.com. We have a ton of research and buying guides on shopping American-made. Let's get into today's video on how to find jeans made in the USA. First up, let's cover how to spot which pairs of jeans are made in the USA. If y'all have watched some of my previous videos, you know that we have some laws and regulations that help us find the country of origin. Two of those laws and regulations that help us identify where jeans and other textiles are manufactured are the Textile Products Identification Act of 1960 and Title 19, Chapter 4, Section 1304 of the United States Code. Starting with the Textile Products Identification Act of 1960, you probably see this in everyday life. Do you ever wonder why the shirt you're wearing discloses its fiber contents? 10% wool, 15% skill, 20% concentrated power of will? Okay, so it's not putting Fort Minor song lyrics on your clothing tags, but this legislation basically dictates what goes on your clothing tag. This law sets the regulations for standardizing the names of the fiber materials, the percentage weight of those materials in your piece of clothing, as well as the country of origin for the product. We also have Title 19, Chapter 4, Section 1304 of the United States Code on our side, which basically says that any products that are imported must be labeled as such with their country of origin. But let's face it, these days we don't always have the product in front of us when we're shopping. So if you aren't staring straight at the product, check their website, give them a phone call, or head over to All American Reviews. We may have already done the research for you. Now I have a full video with a bunch of specifics on how to tell if a product is made in the USA, which I've linked to in the description below. So check that out if you haven't already and give it a watch. Getting more specific to jeans, make sure that the cotton used to make the jeans is grown here. Blue jeans are primarily cotton. Some have polyester blends, which make it a little more stretchy and durable, but make sure that the cotton is sourced domestically as well as the jeans being assembled and stitched in the USA. And remember, words matter and companies change. A lot of jean manufacturers will use made in the USA language early on and then shift their manufacturing overseas later, attracted by that cheap labor. All right, now that we've covered some tips on how to spot American made jeans, let's get into my top picks for jeans made in the USA. Now, even with the mass exodus of major clothing manufacturers overseas, there are still a ton of amazing jean manufacturers made in the USA, and more than I have time to cover in today's video. So for a full list, check out our jeans research on All American Reviews, which I've linked to in the description below. First up is American Giant. American Giant was founded in 2012 and is based in a historic spot for American jean making, San Francisco, California. In addition to jeans, they also make sportswear and a bunch of other clothing also made in the USA. We found their jeans to be super durable, comfortable, and have a really solid fit. I like their Dakota Straight Jean in particular. It's a classic dark blue jean. The fabric is sourced from Georgia, and it is sewn at their headquarters in California. Next is Bullet Blues. Bullet Blues sources their denim from North Carolina, and their zippers and rivets from Kentucky. They have styles for both men and women, everything from relaxed cut to boot cut to skinny jeans, and they're typically running some pretty good sales. I think last time I checked, there was 20% off for first time customers. Again, they have a lot of different styles, so you should be able to find something that fits you. Next is Dearborn Denim. Dearborn Denim is relatively new on the scene. They were founded in 2016, and they're based in Chicago with a really big focus on ethical manufacturing, pairing fair wages with really good working environments and super high quality materials. Look for their 100% cotton denim styles, which are manufactured and sourced locally. They do have some styles made with a tri-blend denim that is actually sourced from Mexico, although assembled in the US, so watch out for those. Guys, check out their 100% cotton vintage wash jeans, and ladies, make sure to check out the waist-high vintage wash styles. Next up is Raleigh Denim Workshop. 
Raleigh Denim Workshop, much like other boutique denim brands, started from very humble beginnings, which powers a lot of the grit and commitment that they put into their products. Founders Sarah and Victor, who are based in Raleigh, North Carolina, actually started out making every single pair of jeans themselves. Then as their business scaled, they really kept that human element in the quality of each and every pair of their jeans. They actually sign the inside of the pocket of every single pair of jeans to this day. Gents, make sure to check out the Jones collection, and ladies, Kristen says to check out the Surrey collection. And the last brand I'll cover in today's video is Stovall and Young. These folks are a super small shop in San Francisco, and they are making some really high quality jeans. They get their denim from North Carolina, they have a little bit of leather in there that is sourced from Portland, and then they do all of their stitching at their headquarters in San Francisco. Check out their Martin style, which is one I really like. Although last time I checked, it was out of stock. And so if that's the case when you're watching this video, their copper style is pretty equivalent and one that I really like as well. Now let's get to some frequently asked questions. First up, are Levi's jeans made in the USA? And the answer is no, pretty much all of their jeans today are made in China, Italy, and Japan. I know this is super sad. The OG of American jeans is no longer made here. They did try and re-release a made in the USA version of their classic 501 jeans recently, but the page went down temporarily. It's not even made from 100% domestic materials and I think it's currently out of stock. Uh, it's just a complete mess. We have a full breakdown of Levi's on All American Reviews, which I've linked to in the description below. Next are Wrangler jeans made in the USA. And the answer is no, most Wrangler jeans are no longer made in the USA. They do have a couple of styles that are still made here with local materials, but we have a ton of research on Wrangler on All American Reviews, which I've also linked to below. And lastly, are Carhartt jeans made in the USA? And the answer is no, most Carhartt jeans are made in Mexico. They still have some products that are made in the USA, so check our link below for all of our research on Carhartt. That's it for this video on how to find jeans made in the USA. If y'all have any questions, feel free to shoot us a message at All American Reviews. We'll find out for you and write something up. And if you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and thanks for supporting your country and shopping American-made. See y'all next time.